Russian tales and travails are the focus of this CSO program led by Manfred Honeck. In 1837, Mikhail Glinka was ready to embark on his second opera, Ruslan and Ludmila, when a problem emerged. His librettist was killed in a duel. And it wasn't just any librettist, but the great Russian author Alexander Pushkin, whose narrative poem of the same title inspired the opera. But the show must go on, Glinka concluded, and he hired a team of other writers to take up the story. It concerns Ludmila, the daughter of a Grand Duke of Kiev, who is abducted by an evil dwarf, and Ruslan, the suitor who sets out to save her, while encountering various supernatural creatures along the way. Thankfully, Glinka's score rose above the muddled libretto. The overture is built on two themes, one colorful and vigorous, the other lyrical and based on Ruslan's big second act aria. Lera Auerbach's cello concerto, Diary of a Madman, was inspired by Nikolai Gogol's famous short story of the same name. Born in Russia and long based in the U.S., Auerbach has a particular fascination with Gogol. She once composed an opera about his life and finds a modern-day resonance in Diary of a Madman, the story of a government clerk who descends into insanity and eventually believes himself to be king. Cellist Gautier Capuçon joins the CSO for the concerto's U.S. premiere. Dmitry Shostakovich composed himself out of trouble with his Fifth Symphony. The trouble began in 1936 when the state newspaper Pravda published a denunciation of his hit opera Lady Macbeth of Mitsensk. The unsigned review appeared just after Stalin himself had attended a performance. Amid canceled performances and fears for his life, Shostakovich produced this symphony as a public act of contrition. It was called the creative reply of a Soviet artist to justified criticism. But beyond its heroic outlines, the fifth can be read as a subversive commentary on Soviet life, whether it's the jagged, grotesque march of the first movement or the dark and anguished third. In the finale, Shostakovich quotes his unpublished song, Rebirth, a setting of a Pushkin poem which deals with a ruthless barbarian and a tormented soul. Public reaction to the symphony's Leningrad premiere was ecstatic. The composer had bought himself a reprieve.